this reading is for all signs and if you'd like to purchase a reading you can check the description box below for links some of you guys are getting your foundations really solid right now uh, maybe you received a bit of information that's offering you um, some help. It's helping you align with your path, with your destiny. The light's been turned on. For some of you, this is a spiritual awakening that you're having, that you're going through. This is helping you change um, the way you see and experience and... It's, it's, just, it's just changing your financial, your material basis because it's all connected to the root chakra. So as you heal your root chakra, work on healing your root chakra. Some of you guys have been doing a lot of work on healing your root chakra. And this is helping you find balance. It's also giving you hope. We also have a lot of heart chakra healing happening. And the heart chakra, especially when you have the heart and the root really balanced, you're looking at this magnet of energy that's drawing in these really abundant experiences. That's where this change comes in with the five financial and material changes. So some, some of you are going to start seeing things in the future. Um, uh, maybe because you are discontent or boredom in the bored from something in the past, you're going to see things change in the future. We also have four, four here. The first card is 17, and 17 is destiny. So a lot of you guys have, like, woken up to maybe a spiritual path or some type of destiny or direction that you want to go. Here as I'm talking about wisdom and intuition. So some of you have woken up to your intuition as well as some divine knowledge, divine wisdom that's being downloaded through the heart chakra. But in order for you to hold that energy, that wisdom, that knowledge, you have to have a solid grounding, a solid footing, a solid base chakra. So um, a lot of information that we receive is through the heart because the heart is so connected to our past selves, our multidimensional selves. So as we heal and work on opening that part of ourselves, we can receive the information from that part of ourselves. And that brings a lot of changes. Your intuition starts guiding you in the direction that is going to be in your highest good. So we've got, you know, we've got two here with five here with 17 here. We also have another five here. So that shows change, change in the direction of uh, destiny after maybe some kind of a choice or decision that you made um, connected to your environment, connected to home, family, but it, it was a it was a change that you made as an individual, and this change brought harmony. Okay, it took something that was in, maybe keeping you in a state of discontentment, boredom, um, disarray. I feel like there was even some chaotic energy involved and move things into a more of a harmonious, balanced energy. But you had to make some sort of a decision that was guided through your intuition. And this helped um, formulate a more solid base foundation for you. So you're moving on from something that um, was kind of dark or dim or keeping you like it's like I feel d death and rebirth for sure moving on from something that was yeah you were just bored of it you weren't you weren't even interested in and this could just be like exiting the the idea of um what 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 society has told us is is that life or the life we want to live so shifting your perspective around that you're moving on from that old idea of what that life was supposed to be and now you're moving into something that is more aligned with your destiny your highest good your highest potential and that's bringing in a lot of material harvest for you so now is the time to rest and rejuvenate here we've got 444 so you've got angelic energies with you and don't forget to stand your ground because as you're letting go of things from the past, you're going to have authority figures and figures that have um, been wanting to keep you stuck in constructs that are going to try to keep you keep you repeating that same old cycle. This is where your intuition is going to be really important. This is where that um, knowledge coming in from your heart is going to be really important. That wisdom. This is not just... This is not just typical wisdom that you learn in this life. This is wisdom that you're downloading from all parts of you and other lives, multidimensional aspects of yourself. OK, 
Okay, you need to let go of heartache and loss. Let that lack consciousness, holding on to the past, those the people that hurt you. It's that heavy, dark energy. Triumphant success. Focus on the things that are going right for you right now. Because there's going to be choices coming up for you in the very future. I'm sorry if you heard my tummy growl just now. <laughs> there are choices coming for you in the very near future. So you need to make wise choices. You don't want to go back and repeat old cycles. That's why the intuition is going to be so important. Remember how powerful you are. Focus on your successes right now so that you can see more of that in the future. Where's our affirmation for the day? On your own terms. Um, so that stand your ground coming up again, it's going to be really important. They waited a long time to be saved until the day they they decided to save themselves. It was a very good day. So stop waiting for someone to save you. That may be part of that old construct that was keeping you stuck, discontent, and bored with your life. Nobody's going to save you. You have to save yourself. In fact, that's the affirmation. Nobody's going to save me. I'm here to save myself. <laughs> or something along those lines. You can make it in your own words. I'm not very good at words. <laughs> following my truth with 48. Believing in and following my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empowered life. So those of you that resonate with that one instead can take that as our affirmation. Believing in and following my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empowered life. So this is throat chakra. This also aligns with that wisdom, that knowledge, that inner voice, that inner truth. Okay, and the inner, inner expression. So this is your reading. Um, if this resonate, re <laughs> resonates with you, you claim this, go ahead and like this video and comment below. If you'd like a personal reading, there are links in the description box for that. And have a beautiful, blessed day.